instead of 11. <laughs> Why? What I, said, I guess two, two people instead of 10 people coming is uh, <laughs> it's okay. I'm Michael. Yeah. Driving to Paseg is going to be enough for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I see the island's already making early showers. We got Jesse over here live and in person. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. And I thought he made uh, early showers, but he didn't. So he's still here live in a person. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Something, something, Mishnah. These next couple of block is continuing. We're back with the... Yesterday was a little bit kishma. Today, it goes back to the dashing, the psukim. Where exactly are we? We are on Chavav Amid Aleph. By the Mishnah. Chavav Amid Aleph by the Mishnah. If we're going to only be this amount of people, maybe we're going to have to change the time to the early Shabbos time, to the Oilam. I don't mind. Doesn't, uh... Yeah. Okay, so Zokta Mishnah. Yeah, Hapayas Ashlishi, yeah? The third lottery, the third raffle lottery, whatever you call it, was Chadash on the Ketairas, Bo V'Hifisa. So the people that are new to the, to the Ketairas come and... Uh, and they're part of the lottery, right? And we'll see in the Gemara why only new, only the new people, meaning those that never zayicha to do the katayrus, are part of that raffle. But Ravi and the fourth raffles, chadashim im yishonim. That's the new new kayana with the old kayanim. Me malei varim and akevash mizbeach. Who's going to be the ones to bring the the meat up to the mizbeach? Yeah. Um, yeah, so again, so this Mishnah dis, um, just discussed the, the third and the fourth pious. So the first thing I want to discuss the third. Tana, me'aylam, le'shana adamba, right? No, nobody ever did it twice. Yeah, nobody ever did the Qataris twice. My time. Now, Qataris, again, is putting the, the ashes, the, fi- the coals onto the fire, and then putting on the, putting on the, uh, Guitar, the how do you call it? Incense. My time. Because it makes whoever does the guitarist becomes wealthy. So since you become wealthy, they wanted to give everybody a chance to become wealthy. Right? So my time. What's the reason? Right? If you're going to say that it says that you should put guitarists in, in front of you, is going to bench your house. So you see that what Katiris is considered is it goes together with with uh, being benched. If that's the case, and Ayla also it says that it's it's going to be uh, um, right. Meaning Ayla is in the same is right next to the pasuk of of Katiris and saying that you're going to be benched. So why shouldn't somebody bring the Ayla? So I'm No, one is common. The oil is common because it could be brought many times in a day. And Hale Shriya, the Katiris is brought only, only twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. So obviously, not obviously, but what's the famous thing that we learn out from this Katiris is Sandik. Right? So somebody's gonna be a Sandik, they say you're not supposed to use a Sandik twice because Sandik is a school up for becoming wealthy. Right? So the Ramah says that. You're not supposed to use the same sandik twice like this to give everybody opportunities to be wealthy. Yeah. So, which the Gra says, the Gra disagrees with this. And he says he doesn't know, he doesn't really know where the Ramo got this din from. And there are many that, I mean, it's, it comes ultimately from this Gemara, right? Because you want to spread the wealth, literally. Literally, you want to spread the wealth. But uh, Lemaise in the Velt, it's, it's, it's said that, oh, you can only have the, you can't have the same sandik. Twice, but Lamaisa, there's plenty of place from the Gra but Roisham, who disagrees with the Ramon and says you could have the same Sandik. You can have the same Sandik twice. And the truth is, if you really think about it, so well, who's, it's not two Sandik, it's it's not in the same family, meaning if somebody becomes a Sandik, so that's it, he's done. Right? Right, Rabar, and I'm sure you will you're Sandik multiple times. I say if it's one time, so that's it. You can't take it. What Rosh Hashim, what Rosh Hashim is gonna do? Right. right? So the, uh, the web is the web is yeah. What's wrong with becoming more wealthy? No, but you want to spread the wealth. Paris, is that a good thing? Let us know. Bout, bout. 
I mean, yes, there is a. But this Siakam, is a concept. by keeping some of the wealth to yourself, maybe that's how you become more wealthy. Keep if there's not enough yourself? to go around. Yeah, if there's not enough to, to go around. You're supposed to spread. I say you're supposed to spread the wealth. I um, understand, but push comes to shove, and there's only X amount of money, and you want it, so you should become Sandik twice. No, but it's not. It's not a zero what, what, sum game. What, what, it's, it's on the Sandik or on the person giving it to him. Because we don't give it to the same person twice, but the Rashiva takes it more than one time from different people. Right, but if it's only one time, it's one time. That's it. No, right, but I'm, that's what I'm saying. So where did the minute come from that you don't, a father doesn't give it to the same person twice? That's, it comes from the Ramah. And there's another sheet that it says that the per, a person shouldn't take it from anyone more than once? No, that's just the kasha. The whole thing is based on the Ketairas. The Ketairas doesn't say right. once per family or whatever it is. It's once per lifetime. Right? You've it once, once per life. Shmira or what's it called? No, no, no. no. Once, once per lifetime. Once, once. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, but that's, but that's, it comes from this Gemara. Fine. Amar Rava. You don't find if you if you see a tsura for Rabbanon, right? Who who becomes a Mayra uh, Hayra, he comes from either Shevi Levi, Shevi Yisachar. Levi Divsiv Yairu Mishpatech of Yaakov, right? He teaches the the halachas to Yaakov. Yisachar Divsiv Yisachar Yad Debina Leitim Ladas Mayos Yisach Mayos Yisach. So you see also that the uh, they they understand things and they know what Kali Yisrael should do. So then the Gemara says, It says Yehuda's mechaykeke, right? Mechaykeke means to, to gives chayk, gives gives over the halachas, gives over laws. So the Gemara answers, This is for for Gershon. This is for the yeshivas right here. This line is mamash for the yeshivas. Asuke shmeitza alivu dehilchasak mina. No, we're talking about la halacha la maisa. We're not talking about lomdes. Right, this right. That's how you have to understand this Gemara, right? It says the Gemara is saying that the Paiskim who tell you how exactly what to do come from Levi or Yisachar, but the Lamdanim, right? Um, that's coming from the Tamid Chometaka teachers could be from Yehuda, but the ones that are going to tell you Lamaisa what to do are coming from Yisachar and Levi, right? I don't see. I mean, from this is a Makar that there's such a thing as learning and spending a lot of time learning, 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 and not and not Paskini. Right, so all these Rosh Hashivas that say I'm not, I don't paskin, right here. No, I don't, I don't see any way around that. Uh -huh. You muted, I guess. I said halavai. What Rosh Hashiva would say I don't paskin. <laughs> oh, we're not going down that road, but okay, all right, yeah, fine. Um, I was saying like I wish there's more Rosh Hashivas like the Briskarov who said they don't paskin. That that okay, <laughs> right? Okay, Amar of Yochanan, yeah, ain't mefais in al tamach of enarbayim. So we don't do the the raffle, the lottery on the tamach of enarbayim. Ella kain shazach by b'shach v'zach by arvus. Right, so it's an interesting thing because we just said before you only do it once, but the Gemara is saying now the same guy that did it in the morning he wins for the afternoon. Right, meisve. So they asked the kasha k'shem shem mefais in shach v'zach mefais in enarbayim. It says that the same way they did a lottery in the morning, they also did a lottery in the evening. So, so you see the fair that they did do two lotteries for the Qataris. So There's two different winners. So my answer is Kitanya he Right, that's talking about for the Qataris. Right, not for uh, not for the I'm sorry, I said before Qataris. I made a mistake. It's Tomid, not Qataris. We're saying here, Kitanya he This is talking about. But Ketairis, they do taka twice. I, I mixed up Ketairis and Tamid. I'm sorry. Tamid, the same guy that did it in the morning, same guy who did it in the morning, does it in the afternoon. Ketairis, two different fellows. But Tanya, Kashem Shem Faisen, Loi Shachris, Kafa Faisen, Loi Arbis. So Loi is a Lashon Zachar, right? And Loi, Carbon Tamid is also Lashon Zachar, right? So it's, uh, yeah. Um, so, the, and that's, so that price is not talking about Ketairis. So we say aim Allah. It doesn't say law. It says law, female. But Tanya, but we have a price that says both. Right? The same way that we do a lottery in the morning, we do a lottery in the evening. 
and the same way you do for it, meaning for the Ketayra Shachras. So you do the Ketayra in the, in the evening. So you see both of them have their own lotteries, side of Ketayra and side of Ketayra. Now here we're talking about on Shabbos. Since they change, they change shifts. The shift changes on Shabbos. The crew, that right, the outgoing crew, like we know that from the Lechem Aponim, right, that the crews, they change crews, that they're, they're on duty for the whole week. So they change on Shabbos afternoon. So now once you get in a new delivery of Kehanim on Shabbos afternoon, now you have to make a new lottery to figure out who's going to do the afternoon, uh, the afternoon uh, Avaidus. So our ass is a mild salakatai to make Koran Nefishi Lu Faisis, but according to what our Havamina was, Right, that means it's going to be more lotteries. Yeah, because we said there's only four. Here you get there. And how are you going to do in the afternoon? That's going to be five. So the Gemara answers, Maisi Kul Mitzafros. No, all the Kehanim, they come in the morning to do their thing. The Zachi Be Shachris, the Zachi Be Shachris, Zachi, the Zachi Be Arvis Zachi. And they, whoever Zachi Be Shachris is Zachi and Shachris, and whoever is Zachi. And for our versus ours, meaning they don't do two separate raffles. I just sorry, I have to take this call. Hello, I'm gonna call you in a few minutes. I'm just doing the daf. What? Oh, yeah, okay. I don't know. So, yeah, um, you got the hmm. hospital. I wonder what, what highway they're on. What? <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, so, so. no, it's uh, somebody going to the hospital. Um, yeah, fine. Okay. Sorry about that. So anyway, so what it means okay. is that the both lotteries, both lotteries were done at the, both lotteries were done in the, uh, in the morning, but one was done in the morning for the morning. One was for the afternoon. Right. Fine. Haravi Chadashim So the fourth raffle is the new people with the old people. Masnisen. So we say our mission of the Lake of Elizabeth and Yaakov. Our mission is not like Rabbi Elizabeth and Yaakov. The Tran, Rabbi Elizabeth and Rabbi Eliezer and Yaakov, I'm sorry, Omer. Hamaylei varam lekevesh, who maylo is on the Mizbea. The same guy who brought them right. Who, uh, let me finish the sentence. Hamaylei varam lekevesh, whoever, who the same guy that brings the varam to on the ramp, he brings it up to the Mizbea. He brings it up to the Mizbea too. Right? So we had said that the way they work with the, with the, the, the limbs from the Tumid as they bring it halfway up the ramp, put it down, they go do other things, and then they come back. Right, then they come back. So um, now, so here, our mission is saying that they make a new raffle for the next crew of guys to take it from halfway up the ramp to the top. And Rabbi Lazar Yaakov says, no, it's the same guys. Um, yeah, fine. So uh, right, so he says, Hamayli, but on the Kevish, who my lawyer is on the Mizbeach? He's my lawyer on the Mizbeach. So, my commitment is what's the Machlaik? Is Mars over Barov Amhadras Melech? Right, this is an interesting Machlaik is here. One says it's better to have more people, right? So, have the one crew of Kahan and bring it halfway up the ramp, and then have another crew of Kahan and bring it the other way. You get more people in the Avoida. Mars over Makam Shina, Lava Irachara, and the Makam Shina, that's not their hair to do that, right? Meaning you're doing a half job. If one person comes and brings it ha- halfway up the ramp, but then somebody takes over. It almost looks like you don't have kayak to, to finish it. So therefore it's a bizayan, right? So that's that's the machlaikis. We have a similar machlaikis with Sidim and Litvish, but they get to Kiddush and Abdullah. All right, the Litvish hold Raibam Hadras Melech. So one person makes Kiddush for everybody because we'd rather have everybody doing it together. And the and the chesidish hold no. Rather each it's not exactly the same machloek, but the chesidish hold that each person should rather make do the mitzvah by themselves than than to have roivam doing it doing it yeah. together. It, yeah. to, to me, it's funny. I mean, I'm not a chesidish. It's just funny by uh, by let's say shalashudis when everybody keeps on making a mitzvah on the same two chalas. You know, they have two chalas, and each guy goes over and grabs. And, and make them make a much on the same like a Mishnah. Right. I tell you, I, I heard something right. interesting. No, 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 right. Sim- they pass it around. You don't know they pass it around, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they, they do that with some him too, no? I don't know about some, I just know by, by like a Mishnah. Yeah, see, what are you saying, Aaron? 
I heard, uh, I had, I once, uh, so I'm a lady, so I was washing Cohen's hands, and um, somebody once told me, a Cohen once told me uh, to make sure that nobody shares in the washing, because oh, it, it, it wasn't, it's not normal that two people should wash his hands at the same time. So, uh, I, uh, meaning, you know, sometimes there's only a few, a few Kohanim and many Levim, so they all want to chop ah, Ryan, and all grab the cup. But ah. this way, um, only one guy per cup. And um, interesting, you mean you don't share? One guy does one arm, does one guy does the other arm, per, other hand. Right. Or right. two people sometimes yeah. hold, try to hold the cup together. Ah, I hear. In Atlanta. That's, that's interesting. Sure. That's In not Atlanta. interesting. And the Levim didn't beat each other up, kill each other, knock breaky legs, none of that. So <laughs> I don't know. So I'm typically <laughs> mocked to only wash by myself now, based on this. And um, I, it's okay. I think one person is, is God's fine for me. I hear. Very good. Because you want to share it. Very nice. Okay. I hear that. In Atlanta, they have a washing cup they use just for Yantif, and it has eight handles. Wow. So multiple Levium can grab hand handles because they have a lot Did of Seriously? Did you hear what Jesse said? Yeah, I, I don't know. So do people had so many Levium. Like, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Are Aaron's you, I, That's a different meaning than you. I guess Atlanta has a different meaning. See, Yaakov, if you're still talking about that, when I was by Birkus Kainim in Eretz Yisrael, so at the end, when we was jailing just before, so um, Ruben the Ruben the Kahanim were already up front by the council, <coughs> but there was still late coming. So the Levium, like Aaron is saying, each lady was standing by the sinks. So each lady had a cup in his hand saying, Kain, Kain, Kain. They were calling Kahanim to, to come over because there was, there was only a few Kahanim left trying to run in Chaparain, you know, so they were standing there. Yeah. That's Gavaldic. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a Gavaldic thing to see, to see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's invite her. So now Sagamora says, um, uh, so now Omar Rav, a new thing. Not Mamish, but Loy Rebbe Yezeb and Yaakov Isle the Rebbe Yehuda. Rebbe Yezeb and Yaakov can't hold the Rebbe Yehuda. Remember, we said yesterday that <coughs> Rebbe Yehuda held that the Tom. And the Ketairis, right? He says that the, the I'm sorry, the ashes, um, um, the ashes and the Ketairis was was brought by two different people, right? So Rabbi Lozma Yaakov can't hold the Rabbi Yehuda. But later Rabbi Yehuda is like Rabbi Lozma Yaakov. They can't butzulu payosus because then you're gonna have one less pious. You're gonna have one less lottery because both of these shitas, right? According to this Mishnah, Rabbi Lozma Yaakov says. That you don't need new, you don't need a new lottery in order to bring the the limbs up from halfway up the ramp to the whole way up because it's done by the previous kaihana. So according to him, there's less lottery, right? But so if you hold like him, and you hold like Rabbi Yehuda, who holds that the ashes and the katiras is also by one guy, you have you have your one short on the lotteries, right? So therefore, you got to If you want to meet the lottery minimum. Then you have to, if you either hold like Rabbi Elizabeth Yaakov or you hold like Rabbi Yehuda, you can't hold like both. Fine. So, the Mishkach is Tana the Tani Chamish. And if you do see that this Tana holds at this five different lotteries, that means, Hahu, the like Rabbi Elizabeth Yaakov, the like Rabbi Yehuda. He doesn't hold of either one of them because he holds that you're going to need an extra, you're going to need an extra lottery for the, for the Machta for schlepping up the coals, right? Fine. Um, so the carbon tamid gets brought up by 9, 10, 11, or 12 different kayhanim, no less and no more. Ketzad, how does it go? Atzmai betes, like we said, the animal itself is, takes nine kayhanim. Bechag on sukkis, biyad echot shamayim. So one brings the bottle of water for the Nisuch Hamayim, right? That, that's what we do. The simple space of Sheva, Harei Kanasos, and we have ten. Bein Arbaim, right? Be'echad Asa. In the evening, it's eleven, right? Why? Because who asked me Betisha? This one brings with nine. Shnayim Biyadam Shnei Gzirei Etzim, and two hold the two pieces of wood that have to go on. Right? We said that a few days ago that you need the two pieces of wood to go up on the mizbeach. Be'Shabbos Be'ech Be'Achad Asa. On Shabbos it's eleven. Who asked me Betisha? He bring the carbon is nine. And two have in their hand the two, the two 
cups of incense that go on the shulchan that has the 12 loaves of bread. And Shabbos, that's on Sukkis, and one person's hand is a bottle of, of, of water. Yeah, fine. The water that we pour on the, on the Mizbeach is only on Sukkis in the morning. They don't do it in the afternoon. Why? How do you know that? That this that we say on Shabbos, that's on Sukkot. There's he, yeah, he's holding a a bottle of water. And if you say yeah, you pour water by Tomah Shabbai, so then on the weekday you're also going to have eleven, not just on Shabbos, right? During the weekday on Sukkot, you're all, not weekday. You're also going to have uh, eleven, not just on Shabbos. So why the Mishnah not saying that there's eleven must be that you only bring it in the morning. Some of Ashi, Afan and Namitina, but the Lamanasik Aimer, and to the Manasik we say, Aimer Loi Hagbe Yotka, pick up your hands, Shapam Echad, Nisachal Gavi Ragla. What happened? There was once an Apikaris who instead of pouring the water, that is Gumar and Sukkah, that instead of pouring the water on the Mizbech, he poured on his feet. Urugamu, Kolom, Besrege, and their whole, everybody um, um, killed him with, uh, I don't know if they killed him, but they threw the Esregim at him. Um, so what do you see, Shmami? You know that when did this happen? They had their sroigim in there, and that means they were davening. They were there in the morning, right? So since they were there in the morning, so you see that that's when they do the nisa chamayim. The question with this Gemara's proof is who says? Maybe they did it in the morning and in the afternoon. Right? Just this, this just tells you that they did it in the morning. Who says they didn't also do it in the afternoon? Right? Fine. Okay. Tanya Rav Shimon Ben Yochai Oimer Rav Shimon or Bar Yochai says Minayin. How do we know that the Tamid of the evening Tamid that needs two, um, how do you call it? Two, uh, two pieces of wood with Shnei Kaihanam. Shnei Kaihanam. It says plural. They should put on, they should set up two pieces of wood. If it's not referring to the Tamid in the morning, just say, Babi Yerale Akayin, Eitzim, Babaika, Babaika, Baruch Aleo. It says it in the morning that they, they burn the fire. They burn the wood in the morning and then they set up the wood. It must be then in the Tamat Shabbat Abayim, you need two Kayanam. So what I ask is, Maybe they're both with the Tamat Shabbat And the title means to say is do it and then go back and do it again. In Cain, so what it says, name a crow, ubi or beer. So then why don't you just say the words ubi or beer? So since it doesn't say Ubi or Bir, so that's what the Torah is coming to tell us, that in the Tamat Shabbat Arbayim, you need two, two separate Kayhanim. Each one has to carry one of those pieces of wood. This is not the regular wood. These are the extra two pieces of wood. So then the Gemara asks, If it only said beer once, then you think only one Kayim and not two. So it's teaching us that one and one should do it. So then how do you know that the first Pasuk is referring to the Tamid Shel Ben Arbaim saying more answers in Cain, name a crow, Ubiyar, Ubiyaru. Right? They should say, and and he should light it, and then it should say, they should light it. Inami, Varach, Varakai. He should, meaning one guy should set it up, and then Varakai is plural. My Ubiyar, Varakai. What does it mean? Ubiyar, Varakai. Why does it say it like in Lashin Yachich, Mami? No, Kitakam, Rina. So it's like we're saying that the two psukim are talking about the two different carbon tamids. Fine. So Tani Rabchia, pious palm, you'd give a palm and um is uh, the pious, the lottery sometimes is you'd give a palm and you'd sometimes 14, palm and tesvav, palm and tesain, but tani yud zayin. But we said it could be 17. I eat the like Rabbi Lazar and Yaakov. That's not going like Rabbi Lazar and Yaakov. I like Rabbi Yehuda. It's going like Rabbi Yehuda that, um, um, that you don't need, that uh, he holds that you do need to carry up uh, um, the the from the halfway up to the kevish and all the way up, right? So that's why you need seventeen. So that's 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 why you need uh, you need one more. Um, okay, I guess we'll uh, yeah we'll stop here. We'll stop here. All right. Well, Have a good Shabbos. Uh, good Shabbos. Yeah. You yeah. signed off already? What time at the Shabbos? Shabbos. What time at the Shabbos?
What do you say? Well, we're at 9.30, I guess. 9.30. No? All right. Yeah, okay, Mr. Yaakov, excuse me, Mincha shop yeah. this afternoon, 7.30, you said? 7.25? 7.30, 7.30. Mm-hmm. Depends how nervous I get. 7.30-ish, it ends up being, ends up being later, but uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Chicago, by, by, you jobs, by you or by your mother? By my mother, my mother. By your mother. Yeah. Have a good job, I'll see you soon. Good Thank you. Have a good job. Uh, what is that? Um, Question mm-hmm. Is it still on over here? Chavis, <laughs> Chavis. Chavis.